so the order in which you sell to traders is one of the most important things that you can get right in Escape from Tarkov. Not only does it mean you make more money, but it's actually recently changed. So today we're going to be diving into the best traders to sell to and how to min-max your profit. So the traders here today we're going to be looking at are just all the menu traders, obviously. Prapor, Therapist, Fence, Skier, Peacekeeper, Mechanic, Ragman, and Jaeger. And let's dive into the first trader here who's now the priority number one, and that is Jaeger. When you come out of Raid, the first trader that you want to go to is Jaeger. First thing you need to know about Jaeger is he actually offers a better price on shotguns and also sniper rifles. Anything in this category, he's actually going to outpay Mechanic, who was previously the person that purchased these guns. He also buys all med items here at a decent price, very comparable with Therapist. So let's have a quick look at these different prices here. We're going to be noticing about 16,000 for a shotgun and about 10,000 for the VPO. And if we go over to Mechanic here, we're going to notice straight away about 15,000 for the shotgun and just under 10,000 for the VPO. So there's about two to three to 5,000 ruble less per rifle here when selling to Mechanic. We're also going to be noticing that he's comparable with meds here with Therapist, who was actually originally the queen for buying meds. Now she still also buys meds, but she doesn't actually give you a better value on most med items. So we're going to be noticing here that the prices that she offers are exactly the same. However, something special about Therapist is that she now purchases Bitcoins and dog tags. However, I have to actually recommend that it's not always a great idea to sell these because they change in value a lot of the time. When Bitcoin are down in value, some of the trades are actually great and some of the dog tag trades are also a good deal. The thing you need to know is the third trader that you want to sell to is now Mechanic, not Skier. And the thing that's comparable about Mechanic is that he now pays a better premium for attachments than Skier. We have been noticing about 9,694 rubles for the PSO and about 18,000 here for the Valde, about 7,000 for the Pilad. We've been noticing a lot of the attachments here, but when I put them up side by side with Mechanic, we've been noticing that Mechanic, Mechanic actually now offers a more competitive price for attachments. So not only does Mechanic buy raw guns that are not bolt actions and shotguns, he now buys the attachments. So not only can you sell the full guns broken down, but also the attachments to Mechanic for the best amount of value. So the next trader that you're going to be selling to is Ragman, and he's coming at the fourth trader that you visit. And the reason that I say Ragman is because he is now the go-to person when selling clothing, whereas it used to actually be Skier. But if we go over to Skier and we hit over the Sell tab, we're going to be noticing that Skier only buys a Turtle Shell Helmet for about 8,330 rubles, and Sordan's about 11,345. But if we go over to Ragman, who is actually the dealer that trades in all of the clothing items, we're going to be noticing that Battlestate Games is basically trying to make the traders who sell the items buy the items for more. So we're going to be noticing here that about 10,540 rubles for the helmet and about 14,000 rubles for the swordants. So once again, you're going to be noticing a 5 to 10% more on clothing items here when selling to Ragman, which may be significant, especially if you're trying to make a little bit of extra money. He also buys cases for the most amount of money here. You can see I'm going to sell this weapon case for about 542,000 rubles, which is actually a slight bit more than a therapist pays here, about 524,000 rubles. However, if you want to make the most money about some things, especially cases, the flea market is the way to go. But Prapor here is actually kind of low-key useless. I'm going to explain why. Basically, when it comes down to Prapor, the only thing that he purchases is grenades and every other gun. But he actually doesn't pay you any more than Mechanic. In fact, he actually pays you less, even for ammos that he exclusively deals in, which doesn't really make sense. But when it comes down to Prapor, I would sell everything to Mechanic except for grenades to Prapor because he is the only trader that purchases grenades other than Fence. He also gives you a fairly good price for him and you can actually just sell him up or you can now actually sell your guns to Prapor for less if you want to level him up. Now Peacekeeper is a little weird. Now I wasn't going to include Peacekeeper mainly because it's a bit obvious. He's never really going to give you the best value unless you want USD specifically. I think the interesting thing about Peacekeeper, however, is how the dollar actually fluctuates. And he also buys a few things. He basically buys anything that Mechanic would buy, but he buys it in USD, including some weird items here like the Diary, Slim Diary, and also the Flash Drive and SAS Drive. 
Now back to the US dollar fluctuating in value, you'll be noticing that right now, every US dollar is 118 rubles. And this is subject to change multiple times a wipe. So basically why this is interesting is some of the items on the flea market that Peacekeeper buys, he actually can buy them for more USD than they're actually listed for actually on the flea market. So what you're going to do is you're going to comparatively check some of these. And here's the example, the secure flash drive. Now currently secure flash drives are around 24,000 rubles and sometimes they're higher and sometimes they're lower. I think the interesting part is if you do a quick bit of math here when you go over to Skia, you're going to be noticing that 118 rubles per US dollar and he's offering you 325 per flash drive. You can actually make a decent amount of markup here if you need USD. So there's a few good trades here when selling stuff to Peacekeeper that allow you to bump up your USD. This actually roughly works out to about 38,350 rubles worth of US dollars. However, some items in his example would be Slim Diary are actually better for just trades, although it's tempting. Fence, however, is a weird trader and he buys things that other people won't. As you can see, I wanted to repair this Gen 4. It's almost 60,000 rubles just to repair an armor that's not going to repair to something worth using anyway. So what you can do is you can go over to Fence and sell zeroed armor or anything that you don't want like broken guns. And we're going to be noticing that he pays about 11,000 868 rubles for that. But the reason that that's significant is because Ragman will, will not buy a zeroed armor. And if we look at the price and how much it would cost me to repair it, it's almost 60,000 rubles. We're also going to be noticing that it repairs for 45 out of 45, which is not good, but it actually sells for less than I just paid to repair it, which means I'm actually losing about 9,000 rubles just to sell it to Ragman. And that's why Fence is actually such a great trader for this. Last but not least, guys, the flea market is the best way to make money. A lot of these items uh, can actually be worth a hell of a lot more when they're found in raid. If you're not sure what found in raid is, it means you have to survive in a raid and it has to be spawned in that raid. It cannot be brought in by a player. But once it's this and you're level 10 and it has that little tick in the bottom right corner, you can sell it on the flea market for substantially more or sometimes actually less. So make sure you double check. So last but not least, what are the best trades to sell to? I would recommend Jaeger first, Therapist second, Mechanic third, then Ragman fourth. Jaeger for your shotgun snipers, Therapist for your meds dog tags, Mechanic for your attachments and guns, and Ragman for your clothing. The rest are optional here with Prapor being able to purchase your grenades, Peacekeeper basically for US dollars, Fence for anything that's broken, and Skier, well, because. As always guys, you can make a lot more money on the flea market, but not everything on the flea market is actually worth more. So make sure to double check because you can actually make money off people who are undercutting other people on the flea market. Sometimes you can purchase things off the flea market and sell them back to traders for more. So make sure to double check and know the value of everything. The reason that is is important because when you die and you lose that found and raid item that's in your gamma, sometimes having an item within your secure container that sells more to a trader than it's worth on the flea market, it might be the better play. And as always guys, if you enjoyed this video, Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button, it helps me out a ton. If you have any questions about any of the trader stuff that you saw here today, make sure to jump around on the Twitch. I uh, stream every Monday all the way through to Saturday, so make sure to swing by if you have any questions. And as always, we'll see you on the next one.